Well, no flippin' way. You will never believe it, but is that really Peter Griffin from Fortnite inside of Minecraft Waddle's Hardcore World? <laughs> How in the world did we ever get such an expensive crossover? And on my birthday, too. Stuff is insane. Lads, laddies, and lovers, welcome back, welcome back. Humble little New Waddleton over here is doing quite beautiful, extraordinary in between episodes. However, at the same time, it's not doing good. I don't know how to say it to you, but this farm that I built over here, I told you it was a potato farm. It's not a potato farm. It's actually a despicable beetroot farm, and it's not good. This single farm right here is the sole thing up on the surface, holding back every single piece of ounce of progress inside of this world. You're a despicable friend over here, villager. I'd hate you if I could, but I can't do that. I would never. It's quite bad. Alas, today, I think it's about time we get serious with things. In the last episode, we spent the duration of the entire thing exploring and searching under the ground. It was fun and triumphant. However, today, it's all up high. Truly, in today's episode, it's all up from here. There's one thing and one thing only I could dream of doing, and that's exploring every single biome in this world. Now, of course, if we're going to set out into the great world, the wonderful unknown, there's only one thing that I could bring with me and one thing only, and that's going to be this trusty little map. Oh, boy, I sure hope this is where I end up exploring. Anyways, no more games, no more delays. Tap like right now, and it's adventure time. So last episode, oh sweet last episode, we were so young and naive. We spent the entire duration, the entirety of the episode, exploring underneath the ground in the great unknown. Eventually, we ended up stumbling upon something quite beautiful and quaint. It's nice, it's really, really nice. However, there's a brand new Minecraft snapshot out, and surprise, spoiler alert, inside of that snapshot, there's a new beautiful new Minecraft mob. Imagine how perfectly fitting it would be to kick off the new era of 1.20.5 snapshots in this world with a sweet, beautiful little armadillo that we could capture, or uh, um, befriend, and move back over, home sweet home. Put it on the to-do list. Hmm, I've already forgotten to take a look at the map. That's right, remember, take a look at the map and hold it. In our previous adventures and expeditions, we took the coastline pretty far up that way and found only more desert and only more badland. It was no pun intended, it was quite bad and quite deserted, you could say. I didn't like the look of it. I simply glimpsed down the shoreline this way, past the savanna biome that probably won't have any armadillo. Yeah, okay, I don't think there's a single chance any armadillo pops up here. Unfortunately, unknowingly, uh, like a fool, I generated this land before the armadillo was added, so... We're gonna have to find a new savanna, probably farther away. I hate to say it, but a third of the way through this entire series, with our goal of 100 days, and all I've really seen of this place, is what you're seeing right now. A little bit of desert, a tiny bit of lame savanna biome, and some ocean. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 leave me alone. What is it? I think it's a puffer fish, you fool. You're lucky, you're a small animal. I would never seek your revenge, a vengeance on a small animal. Oh, that, t that terrified me. My heart, I put Peter's heart, a guest in the world today. How, how could he? He's never going to come back. Oh, great. All right, so look, I said the boat would make it a breeze, but I couldn't help it. I help myself. I could not resist. There was a jungle right over here. I figured in my dreams, wouldn't it be amazing if I could walk into this jungle, find jungle temple, find armor trim as well. Another great reason to flex on everyone inside of this world. If legends hold true inside of that jungle temple, there's the chance that we would be able to actually find a little bit of armor trim, but scanning all over the place, I don't see a single thing. All I see is this flaming, burning, ruined, ruined portal. Which you never know carefully. Golden apple, golden apple. Golden pants. And hey, actually, some decent tools, though. Like, uh, efficiency five, that'll last for literally the, the total of five seconds. <laughs> and that's not bad. Sheep, hmm. I don't know what I have planned for the future of this world and how often soon I want to hunt for netherite armor. But oh boy, if I'm looking for netherite armor, I've heard that your skin will help me find it. Oh, this. You. Who in the world is that that has suddenly popped up in front of my face with the green hair? Top of the morning green hair, right at the top of the morning. Could it be? It couldn't be. None other than... No, 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 not in this world, not in this world. Leave me alone. Leave me alone every minute, every day, every second. You right here, seed. A seed for you, a seed for you. You're hungry. You're very... Oh, it's been years since you've eaten. Oh, that's so sad and tragic. <laughs> you must be starving. Apparently. 
you, my dear friend, looking out at the world. There's so much more. Just come with me. Yes, come with me, my dear friend. Your name? Oh, formally. Hey, get away from interdimensional demon. He's not following me in this world. Get away from him. Come with me, bird. Come with me. All right, I think we're alone now. A formal introduction. Your name? Oh, you say that your name? Oh. <laughs> You're so special. You hold the dear spot of my heart. Williams Jack Robertson. Williams Jack Robertson the third. You're so special. And what is this? You say never give up. You say head back into the jungle and continue looking because you never know you might be able to find one more jungle temple beyond your initial horizons. Oh, well, that's very poetic of you, if you insist. <laughs> All right, guys, um, kind of a bad sign over there. That's more desert and badlands. I feel like I'm... Probably with the sign of that going the exact wrong way that I shouldn't be if there's anything that I don't want to see any more of inside of this world <laughs> It's more badlands and, and desert and you know everything like that So what I think I might have to do is make a sharp turn to the right and cut back over to the ocean That place might get us somewhere a whole lot faster. So let's do that. Oh Well <laughs> instantaneously, what do I see in the world? Ah, what do I see in the world but one of the most beautiful wood types in all of Minecraft? Yes, please, you're gonna come home with me. Saplings, trees, dark oak wood, oh my. What a beautiful day for our cousin from a different series, Tree Chopples. Welcome. All right, so in the midst of my tree chopping, I've hit a sad realization, and that is I have no stone and my axe is about to break. If only I could uh, find stone somewhere. Hmm. Well, with all of these saplings on the ground, I think it's about time we pack things up, don't you think, Williams Robinson? Ah, oh, look at us. It's like Lewis and Clark. We look so good. The world's greatest exploration crew is here. Let's make some progress now. Oh, and, and immediately, right off the bat, I say let's make some progress, and progress has been made. If I'm looking for a little bit more food, maybe potatoes, definitely carrots for a big farm I want to build soon. Oh boy, that could potentially be one of the best things. I don't know about the big taiga over there, but the normal taiga, sure enough. All we need to do too, easily enough, is move close enough to be able to see campfire smoke. Then I don't even need to step foot into the taiga. I should be able to just look around and see if maybe inside of the taiga somewhere, there's one single village. All I need is one, please. Oh no way, they're too kind, they're way too kind. That looks like a plains biome too. If there's no hope in the taiga biome, there's got to be hope in the plains biome, too. Finally, at last, things are really, truly looking up. All right, so look, nothing against you, brand new beautiful bird friend, but I'm going to travel inland now. When I travel inland, I, it's just going to be annoying. I need to look around the taiga a little bit closer. Couldn't get a good view. Please, please stay here and guard this ship for us. Make sure nobody is allowed on board that boat, okay? Hey. Speaking of boats. And so, for our humble little adventurer, guest star of the show today, Peter Griffin, it was off into the taiga for him. <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay! All right! So, before too long, well, 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 what have I stumbled upon? As soon as my feet crescendoed upon that small crest of a hill right there, immediately my eyes do not deceive me. Dead center in the middle of it all, iron armor. Come on, that sounds real poor to me. Iron armor. Come on, man. Tips have me, lad. How you doing? Good, nice eye patch. How's your eye healing up? Oh, that's right. Also, all of these villagers and, 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 and the taiga one, the taiga armor. Isn't that like the good new armor? We've got the experimental trades going on here. Oh, this is such a cool find. If only, hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, I could find this sweet berry saplings. Okay, I'll take the, wait, those are the first monies of the world. That's cool. All right, so please listen. Somewhere inside of this village, I'm desperate. I will do anything for you, villagers. Anything your minds could dream of. Your sick, giant brained minds could dream of. Any kind of food that isn't something just pathetic, please. I need carrots and potatoes. I need carrots and potatoes. Please have a farmer box somewhere. How in the world are you sustaining yourself? You need to have a farmer box somewhere inside of here. I know it. What is this? What kind of scam and ripoff is? Oh, it continues. Okay, good. I was gonna say, how you guys gonna live here in the middle of the taiga, untouched by civilization, and just starve? Please, please, there's a rule. Every single, oh. 
Oh. oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. Potatoes. That's half of the deal. That's half of the deal. Half of the battle has been won. Half of the deal. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, at this point, everything else that I could locate and find, maybe hopefully carrots, please, consumed by a lava pit. No, hopefully I can find some carrots. It's all. Oh, what are you doing? Taking a bath right now? That's crazy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk in. Look here. Simply put, anything that I could find at this point, it's all just a bonus. <laughs> carrots, though. I you really actually, seriously, Heike, do need carrots, and it's not actually a bonus. Like, I need carrots. You are banned from the top floor of your house. It's weird, friend. What'd you do up there? Haha, <laughs> yes. This village is amazing. My best friends. However, this village is also tragic. Tragic and sad. The entire village has been sculpted out now, and there's dogs. It's beautiful, but not a single armadillo. And absolutely not a single carrot either. You should go back home. You're a little far. And this all looks like a forest. A sad cold forest? Hmm. But I, I should probably get back to the boat. Let's see if we can scope with that plains biome I think I saw. Bird friend, I've done it. You're going to be so proud of me. You'll never believe it. We've done it. We found so much stuff. Take me over to the plains biome and please take me to where all the carrots live. All right, my lad. Same deal as before. You wait right here, right next to the boat. Don't let anybody inside of it. I'll be right back. All right, so now, unfortunately, I'm moving off of the map. Anything that we move into is uncharted landed territory here. I don't know what to expect. Oh, no, that is not what I was really hopefully expecting. Uh, even more ocean. After a tiny bit of land, even more ocean. Please over this hill. Please over this hill. Please over this hill. Please be here. Uh... All right, well. Oh, oh, all right, well. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, well. Good dear bird friend, where are you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and wrap up this exploration for today. I think we're maybe finally in luck. <laughs> and so, before too long, I like to consider myself the luckiest man alive. Somewhere inside of this village, I know what's gonna happen. It's gotta happen, right? Somewhere inside of this village, I've gotta find it, right? Oh no, <laughs> oh no, don't do this to me, baby, don't do this to me. I'm not looking too hot. <laughs> oh no. Alrighty then. Oh, it's my boat, dang it. I guess it's back on the seas for me. Ah! Ha ha! Ah! Ha ha! Ayo, uh, also, side note, I think I found maybe the most beautiful spot of this entire world. That's a giant mountain. That's got to be an ancient city mountain for sure. That's beautiful, breathtaking, scenic, all of it. Ah, uh, if I wasn't already settled in, locked in, that is, this would maybe have to do the base. That's a, such a strong looking mountain. That's so beautiful. Anyways, let's get over to this village, get those carrots. Please, please, seriously, please. Yes, 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 we can get over to this village, get those carrots. I knew you could do it, I knew you would. You wouldn't let me down, we can get those carrots and... <laughs> we can get that loot. We can check that view. Oh, oh, shoot. We can check that beautiful, beautiful view. But then, most importantly, we can get back home sweet home. Yo, yeah, wait. Is bro headbanging? <laughs> I swear, bro, bro is headbanging. <laughs> look, look, look. Not to be greedy or nothing like this. Not to be greedy, but it's kind of fitting. Like, we got a parrot. I'm kind of a pirate over here on the ship. There's a zombie trying to attack me, and so I have to slide under the ground, and I cannot help but ask. Armor trim? Beautiful, sweet armor trim. Uh, armor trim? All right, look. Armor trim. <laughs> Beautiful, sweet armor trim. Beautiful, sweet armor trim. Back over home, sweet home. It's safe to say exploring. Yes, it is so, so easy. Back over home, sweet home with our brand new friend. Absolutely. First order of business, remove the beets and plant the carrots. Now, villager farm, villager farm. I think I want to convert the villager farm over to a potato farm, but I also don't want to put all of my potatoes in one basket. You know what they say. I think what I'll do is I'll plant some of the potatoes over here. That way I know that no matter what happens, I'll at least have some potatoes. 
No, 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 no. Come back in here. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. No, 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 no. Please, please. I, yes, please. I know you were looking at me, laughing at me. It's because I cursed you in the beginning. Look, listen. I will give you potatoes. Huge upgrade. Potato farm can now, at long last, finally actually become potato farm. And you know what? While we're at it, I built this thing for food and then never checked it for food. Huh, huh. Definitely for food. Delicious. All right, now, real quick, I'm sick of it. Inside, home sweet home is so, like, lame and dusty feeling. It doesn't even feel cozy. Let's see what I can do. Let's see. First things first, the kitchen. We'll put it over in this corner. You know how it goes. Every good kitchen needs a furnace, but also probably a smoker. That's an upgrade. Also, a finished counter. Like, a finished counter would be nice, too, right? While we're at it, why not? Let's go ahead and make the kitchen actually have some storage, too. Now, while we're at it, something with a ceiling, for sure. Now, this house, this space is kind of weird. I kind of already had this whole storage room situation going on back here, which I kind of like. So, maybe this will be kitchen-storage combo. Then over here? I mean, look, I'm not exactly working with the most things in the world yet. The cows, they could definitely step up their production a little bit. That'd be nice. A table. A chair. The nightstand. For now. Green dye, smash it, merge it, infuse it with a little bit of white to make lime dye. Lime dye plus white bed equals brand new double lime bed. Fancy. You know, in all of my explorations, I got a lot of nuggets too. Why not? A fancy lantern for the nightstand. That's nice. Over here inside of the stone cutter, I made this stone block. Then I can go ahead and cut it into two more. Over here, let's go ahead and turn one of those things into an armor stand. Then this armor stand, it could totally stand right there. That looks good. Onset armor stand, gold armor. This chest over here next to the bookshelf, obviously, is going to be my tool chest. Any extra old tools, I'll put them in there. We can spice this thing up a little bit with some buttons. Why not? You know what? While I'm at it, I need a little bit more color inside of my house. I don't know how it's going to play out. It doesn't really match with anything in here, but how about some blue carpet? Blue carpet's pretty cool, right? Another lantern and get this a chain dead center. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming to life now. Of course, of course. How could I not? My favorite painting of all time. Not that one. My favorite. No, 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 no. My favorite. No, 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 no. My favorite. No. Okay. It's somewhere in here. Nope. Not that one either. That one. My favorite painting of all time. Of course. And hey, look, I got a random book. <laughs> I might as well. Oh, that's fancy. Look, what I'm saying here is this house is a work in progress. Over time, as we start to collect more in this world, I'll fill it up more, and it'll become more cozy. For us here today, though, I think this build over here is looking quite nice. It's a little bit better than it was before. Still cramped, still small, still got the same vibe, but armor trim, armor trim, armor trim. Mm. So I can only use one of these. I need to save the copy. I also need to see which one that I like the most. Like a cool band on the helmet, that could be nice, but what about stripes on the pants, or how about the boots? Hmm. Well, I think the boots and the helmet is off the table. I feel like we could probably find a better armor trim for that one right there. So I'm thinking pants. We'll start with trimming the pants. What color should it be? I was thinking gold. I was thinking maybe diamond. Or I was thinking, or I was thinking lapis. I'm kind of thinking with the whole water vibe and everything, lapis is the logical solution. Hey, oh, Minecraft devs, I have a request for 1.21. Can we finally, with the copper stuff, get a spyglass stand so I could stand it in the corner like an armor stand and make it look sweet? Yeah, thanks. All right, I added a line to my paints. Very cool. Happy birthday. Minecraft Hardcore, episode number six, and now day number 40. Our home sweet home is looking a little bit more homey. The big grand adventure that we went on today, we were able to find just about everything that we we're looking for and more. Going forward here in the future, prepare yourself because we're about to take off. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe. It's been me, Peter Griffin. Happy holidays, everybody. Playlist is on the end card. Tap join for special benefits, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.